So one of the most popular videos we've done on this channel is the masking transition tutorial. And this is popular because it's such a cool transition. It allows you to go from one scene to another and then use maybe a car going past or a lamppost to transition into your next shot. Now the problem with this, if you've tried this, is that it requires you to film in a certain way and it requires a lot of keyframing and a bit of knowledge about how to use the masking tool. So we thought it would be really cool to design a little plugin for Final Cut Pro that allows you to do this exact same effect but with one click. And this is the effect you'll get. Now what makes this really cool is you can change the element used as the transition. So you can have a tree that swipes across or you can have a lamppost, a coffee cup, a car, whatever you want. Just simply download a PNG from Google or take a photo of the element yourself and just cut it out in Photoshop. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you how you install it and how it works. Okay, so we're now in the Mac and the first thing you'll want to do once you've purchased the plugin and downloaded it, you'll want to make sure you install it into Final Cut Pro. Now, all you need to do is go to your movies, go to your motion templates folder, and then go into transitions here down at the bottom. And then just drag and drop your editor's keys folder into here. And you can see I've already dragged that in. So once that's in, just make sure you close and restart Final Cut Pro. Now, once you're in Final Cut Pro, just open up your transitions and you should see them appear here uh, under the Editor's Keys folder in your transitions. And you've got Editor's Keys wipe left and Editor's Keys wipe right. Now, they do sometimes uh, pop up in a folder called Custom. So depending on how you've set Final Cut Pro, uh, your plugin could be in the Custom folder or it could be in the Editor's Keys folder. But once they're there, we're ready to go. So I've got a few clips here on the timeline that work okay together, but they don't really have anything that you could particularly kind of mask out like you would normally use in a masking uh, tutorial or masking transition. So I've picked these clips because they look pretty good together, but they don't have anything in between them that you can use to mask. So let's take a look at these ones here. We've got this little boat here that will go to this slightly wider city shot. Um, and we've got, let's have a look, these two city signs here. And we've also got these leaves going into uh, some countryside. So let's start off here at the end with these two boats. Now, of course, these clips look okay if they just go from one to the next. But if you're like me, you sometimes wish you would have recorded past a tree or a pole or a pillar, something like that, so you can get a nice masking transition. Um, or you would maybe mask the boat out, but that can take a long, long time. So all you need to do is first of all, have a look at which way the camera movement is going. So you can see here, we are moving from left to right. So if we were going past uh, an object, say a pillar, that pillar would be coming past us from the right to the left. So you wanna make sure you're picking the transition that would do the same thing. So in this case, as the camera's moving that way, we want the object to come the other way. So I've got the editor's keys wipe left here. Now, when you drag that on, we've put this little editor's keys placeholder in here, just so you can tell it's from us, but also you can tell that you need to do something because obviously you wouldn't want this in here unless you're doing an editor's keys tutorial. So you can see here that as we move across to the right, the, the object comes from that side and moves over and transitions over. So all you need to do, once you've got it installed, let's just put this in the center and then go to your inspector here in the top right hand corner. Now, this is where the magic happens. You've got a selection here. So we've included loads of little PNGs already cut out, ready to go. So you can see here, we've got a taxi, we've got a coffee cup, We've got things like lamp posts that are kind of European looking or American looking ones. Uh, we've got a pillar. Um, and we've got these all over Manchester. And then we've got things like trees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this tree. And what's great about how we've done this plugin is you can change the size of the tree. You can get it closer or further away. You can of course move it if you want it to be kind of positioned slightly differently. 
you've got a saturation control so you can really make it match your footage uh, you've got brightness controls as well and that's really important you don't want um, maybe two dull looking video clips with a super bright transition thing in the middle it just won't work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this tree here and pretend that we've just gone past this in the camera so first of all i'm going to play around with this saturation here and just desaturate it because it was quite a gray overcast day the brightness i'm going to take down a little bit so it matches the color of the bricks here you can see on the right hand side now I'm happy with the amount of room that's taking up here um, that looks good and the blur now if you were this close to the tree if you were a little bit closer it might be more out of focus I do feel like if my camera was to go past that tree it would look about there and that looks about right let's let this render and see how this looks there we go I think that looks pretty good so let's play that again We've got the tree coming from the right to the left there we go i think that looks pretty nice so let's try that one again on this section here i'm going to use the same uh, transition let's use the tree again and maybe let's take a look at the second tree so again i think this the tree works well for this because it's obviously in a kind of woody area but you can see the, the tree now looks too bright so again i'm just going to change the brightness down make it a bit duller i'm going to maybe knock out some of that saturation there make it a bit darker there we go and let's tell you what let's make it a little bit bigger as well let's pretend we're a little bit closer let's play that through boom it needs a little render there it wasn't that smooth so let's just wait for final cut to do its thing let's play that through Boom. that looks really really nice doesn't it so next let's go to these two signs here and we're in a city so probably what I would do for this one let's just check which way we're going again we're kind of going from that direction so I would use this way around and I'm going to put in maybe a stop sign here something that you would see in a city street so let's choose this we've got a euro crossing which I think looks good we've also got a go sign which probably looks more like something we'd have here in the UK so again I am gonna I'm gonna maybe shrink the size of that very slightly I'm gonna change the brightness down of that a little bit so it looks very similar to what's behind it and I'm gonna take the saturation out a little bit just there and I think that's gonna look good so let's wait for Final Cut to do its thing and play it through there we go how good does that look let's play it through again boom and what's great about this effect is that it's quite subtle it's impressive but it's subtle it doesn't really jump out at you as one of these kind of strange weird transitions it looks like something you could have actually gone past and it looks like you've done all the work adding those keyframes for a nice masking tutorial little does anyone know that you've just used this plugin now what you can also do is use a drop zone as well so I've mentioned that you can bring in any PNG that you want so if you go on Google uh, maybe you want to go past a water bottle um, a particular car brand you can search for that as a PNG or you can cut it out yourself within Photoshop and then you can drag it in so what I'm gonna do now this isn't gonna work for this shot but I'm gonna just uh, change this to a PNG of a Tesla here so what you need to do is click that we're gonna click this drop zone and then we're going to click the Tesla here and then we're going to click apply now I'm going to go back onto that now you can see here that the go sign is still in here so what you need to do is go down to the selection and change that to drop zone and you can see here we now have the Tesla so what we're going to do is we are going to scale this up make this take up the whole frame and then again this isn't going to really work but let's just show you that it can work so let's play that through boom and you've got a subtle little transition there that you can change for anything imagine how you can use this on weddings on travel videos on food vlogs makeup videos all that kind of stuff that you might be making there at home so there you go that's how the plugin works so there we go it's just so cool it's just such a quick and easy way to get that masking style transition without doing any of the work you can simply drag and drop that between any two clips and it looks fantastic every time let me know in the comment section below what you think of that and remember to check out the rest of our final cut pro tutorials up here and i'll see you in the next video